You have now come to the end of your second semester. Some of you will remain here to complete your education. Some of you will go out into the world. And as is my custom, I put to you a question of the utmost importance, which concerns your spiritual well-being. Do you wish to come to God and be saved? Those of you who wish to be Christian and saved will move to my right. To those of you who remain and hope to be saved, you will move to my left. Have you said your prayers? Yes, though it can't make much difference to the Creator. Do I understand you correctly? Do you believe that your Creator is indifferent to your sins, that in His mercy He sees you slumber? No, you misunderstand me. I have not got so far. I am not even awakened yet. And how should I repent? I am somewhat troubled, to be sure, but my feelings are all indefinite. The question is not how far you have advanced, but how far you ought to have advanced. Not how you feel, but how you ought to feel. I don't feel anything. I have no sense of my sins, and how can I? I wish I could feel as others do, but it is not possible. A sinner against a holy God and under condemnation and liable every moment to drop into a burning, hopeless eternity, yet cannot feel, cannot be alarmed, cannot flee from the wrath to come. The true question is, are you in the ark of safety? I fear I am not. You are alone in your rebellion, Miss Dickinson. I fear that you are a no-hoper. Yes, Miss Lyon. 